find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Dollar Quartet. The story is about really Sam Phillips, who discovered all four of these icons uh, at Sun Records in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Ten seconds, and I knew I had me my next star. He is hugely responsible for the sound of rock and roll. He had some way about him that made you want to please him, make him happy. And he was just, he, in, the, in the show, there's a line about, if, if you got talent, I'll pull it out of you. And apparently that was really true. Now look, we've been working hard to get you another hit. Now we both know your records need little. Little Jimmy Lee Lewis is what they need. I particularly like the storytelling in this show because it takes place on one singular night and we don't jump through time, we don't see these people at different stages of their life because it's one room, it's four guys hanging out, getting to know each other, actually jamming. Now, when you can find it in your heart to be a sinner for a few minutes, you come back and see me. He was back the very next day. Each guy gets kind of like an introduction. It could be what would be happening in the room with Sam, Sam Phillips being like, yeah, you know when, uh, when Elvis came here, this is the story. Yeah, this was 1956. Elvis was 21 or 22 years old. He was definitely a shy kid, and uh, Mr. Phillips kind of helped pull this uh, this star out of him. Big part of Carl Perkins' story and a big part of the story of Million Dollar Quartet is how his career didn't take off the way that it probably would have if things had been just a little bit different. And then shortly thereafter, by God, there is Elvis Presley on the Ed Sullivan Show. Singing blue suede shoes. My song. He did have this huge triple crown hit with blue suede shoes. Elvis did record it and Elvis made it an even bigger hit than the Carl Perkins record. That pivotal moment, unfortunately, kind of took the wind out of Carl's sails in terms of having a successful career. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison and time keeps dragging on. One of the first things that Dave, our, our drummer actually, was the music director at the time, he said to me, just do Folsom just like the record. You've got to hit some of those things so that people go, okay, this is Eric, Johnny's here. Then you can start finding your own performance. <laughs> are fabulous and it's so fun as a musical theater performer you never get to have the band with you on stage so it's really cool to not even normally the bands in the pit or there's an orchestra pit everyone is pay playing all their instruments live on stage we have the flexibility to kind of play and and try new licks and and just have a ball on stage <laughs> A really, really cool thing about this show and the casts that it typically brings together. You're looking at uh, veterans of multiple, multiple productions and iterations of this show. And so it's a really cool experience. They got a 